This has been a crazy long few months. Uh, been on the road nonstop. I'm so excited to go home and go biking or do laundry, something mundane, but it's so exciting for me. But it's gonna be a really long flight, about 30 hours. So it's gonna be from Phnom Penh to Bangkok, Bangkok to Dubai, and then Dubai to Seattle. But the great thing is flying Emirates first class. And this is the second time in my life I'm flying first class. First time was the Korean first class. Obviously, can't fly that much, super expensive. But this time, has some points put away and then splurged on this flight. So of course, I'm gonna review the heck out of it for you guys. Uh, first thing is, um, usually with Emirates First Class, you get car service from wherever you are, you're at to the airport in select cities. Unfortunately, Phnom Penh is not one of these select cities. But typically, if you were like in New York or one of these major cities around the world, that's where the first class experience would start. But for me, I guess it's gonna start at the airport. Let's go. Slim pickings when it comes to fridge magnets. And this is really not pretty, but it's like made with rice, so uh, I guess so. This noodle is not half bad. Texture is great. Mmm, really firm and chewy. I'll tell you what, this is actually better than my pho I had today. Sort of a tum yum broth. <clears throat> Yummy. Good chunks of minced meat. Nice bouncy fish ball. Not a bad bowl of noodle soup at all. Probably one of the better ones I've had around the world. You know, for in an airport lounge. All right, for entertainment, you can do live TV. Let's see. Oh my god, the whole section for anime. Oh wow. Right, okay, that's all the anime they have. Like, I literally have to reach from one end of the screen to the other because they're so massive. Basically, every single new release. Oh my goodness. Ah, I think I'm gonna watch a little Aladdin and cry a little bit. Check this out. So pretty, a little lamp right there, fresh flowers. Also, what is this? Thank you though. Whoa, I guess you want to conduct any business. Hi. Oh. Dates and coffee? Yes. Oh, cool. These are plain orange peel and the almond ones. Um, orange peel would be great. Would you like to try the Arabic coffee? Sure, I'll try a little Arab coffee. Thank you so much. This is delicious. I love dates. Don't go on them a lot, but love them. I'm actually going to be able to try two different aircrafts on Emirates. So I'm flying right now. This is the um, this is the B seven 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 three hundred ER, and then uh, when I get to Bangkok, I'm switching over to the three eighty. So from there to Dubai, I'm going to fly on the three eighty, then switching back to this aircraft from Dubai to Seattle. I mean, I'm really trying to experience this as much as I can. All right, all right. you know what we need to do? Got to check out the bathroom. This is 
the bathroom. So you get, ooh, the guardy. I mean, I, I, is that how you pronounce it? I think that's fancy. Towels, toothbrush, shaving kit. All right, it's not a huge bathroom. No. Hi. Little pimple examiner. One thing that's interesting, there's no luggage compartment here. I wonder where they put the luggage. Okay, so you actually just put your, they told me just put your bag there. That's your luggage storage space. Perfect. So it's really not much stuff to eat. My choice is just fruit, smoked duck. There's really no choice. It's fruit and smoked duck. Toasty hot, like burning hot. Just the way I like my rolls. Not bad of a holdover meal till the next time we eat. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Well, that was a pretty luxurious experience for just about 50 minutes. Granted, I don't have a lot of first class experience to compare that to besides the one time on Korean Airlines, but that was just so many times better than Korean Airline first class. I mean, that was really a very luxurious experience. It felt like I was on King Midas's private plane. I mean, everything was gold. It was so, you know, luxurious looking. It's very Dubai, you know? People were super nice, very attentive. The food was great. And that was only a 50 minute flight. Next one, it's gonna be eight hours. And like I said, we get to try out a whole different aircraft. This is really, really cool because not only is it a private suite again? The configuration is the same as the last flight, but there's a shower. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. Look at this. There's the shower. Wow, that's a huge toilet. Look at this sumo sized toilet. Clothes dryer, amenities. Wouldn't mind just uh, flying the bathroom this whole time. Probably the uh, only space on any aircraft I'll ever say that. Same as the last one, little notepad and pen. What if we could have keep these? Probably. Oh man, fly fit. Well, actually, these are really helpful. Check out this amenity bag. <laughs> All right, this is actually this is super exciting. Emirates pajamas, medium size, slippers, eye patch. Oh, this tote bag is nice. I'm keeping this. Excuse me. We have shaving foam. Not applicable. Bavagardi body lotion is this is this a good brand i'm gonna keep this just in case you guys say it is body spray cologne body lotion refreshing towel dental kit kleenex razor comb and lip balm i'm just gonna keep all this they give you a really nice tote bag too so i'm just gonna keep everything in this bag <gasps> Ooh, i guess you can take your pajamas home in this later all right check this out so we have chocolate coated licorice I don't even like licorice, but I'm gonna keep that. Hand cooked potato chips. Sounds good. Ooh, white chocolate, yeah. Mint trail mix popcorn with caramel and sea salt. But oh, this is great. Vitamin C tablets. So let's see what's for late night dinner slash early morning breakfast. All right, we have orange juice, watermelon juice, watermelon, strawberry, mint detox, ooh, smoothie. Not a huge option. 
it's just a breakfast menu. So omelette and French toast. I think I'll take both. This is so exciting for me. It's that. Mm. All right. I don't want to leave. I just want to sit here with unlimited snacks and drinks. Just, just keep flying. I don't even care. Got my Emirates date. And I always count on Emirates for a good date. It was a dish that had a little bit of meat inside, but everything was good. French toast was good, omelette's good. Really liked the bread basket. I think this with a couple of pieces of sausage would have been much better. It's good. There's nothing too unique about this dish, but it tastes good. The only thing I would say was that French toast, omelette, there's nothing too unique about the foods being served on Emirates. I mean, they're done well, but the dishes themselves are not all that exciting, you know? All right, I think this is all they have to eat for breakfast. It's about three o'clock in the morning for me, back in Asia time, so I'm at pajamas on. I'm gonna go to bed. See you in the morning. See, see in a few hours. Right by the bathroom, the stairs, there's this little lounge bar area. Fruits, alcohol, Ribs. What is this? Candy coated chocolate. Oh, M&M's. Oh, fancy M&M's. M&M's, nuts, popcorn, jelly beans. Yo, mixed fruits, soda, water. Oh, fun little place to hang out. Oh, sandwiches here too. Oh, interesting. So, I guess when I'm hungry, this is where I'll be. All right, bedtime. Good morning. Showers. Here's the shower, so I get five minutes of running water. And they said I could stay in the bathroom for about 30 minutes. This is much needed. This is cool. So they tell you this is, there's a timer on where your water's going to run out. Pretty standard shower. Five minutes. All right. Let me just unpack my scrubby. experienced a shower mid-flight before but let me tell you that's something you will definitely miss if you ever do it that horrible feeling that you have after a long flight you know that grossness that you know the that I've been sitting in a seat occupied by a thousand butts kind of feeling all gone so refreshed have some tea eat some fruits I really, really needed that because I've got a layover and a 14 hour flight ahead of me. Uh huh. If you've never been, Dubai's airport is one of the largest, most crowded airports in the world. It's going to make you work from one gate to the other. It's a, it's a huge workout. Definitely hungry after this. Wow, that is pretty. Sit by a fountain, so quiet and nice. Whoa. Well, this whole thing is the lounge. Oh my gosh, this goes on forever. Mediterranean food. Shower 
rooms, business centers, tons of showers. I don't know where the concentrated food area is though. I mean, there's that Mediterranean. I'm assuming that's just like one genre of the food here. So not only do you get freshly made sushi here, there's, there's that whole restaurant. That menu, I, I gotta go to the bathroom really quick. I'm so excited. I'm so excited, I had to pee. Bread basket. Let's see what's on the menu. All right, so this is where Amber's is hiding all the good food. Wow, this is like a restaurant. You can order whatever you want. Oh, ho, 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 ho. char grilled Wagyu burger. Yes, please. Angus tenderloin. Oh my God, all right. I'm gonna have to do multiple entrees here. Oh my God, this is so exciting. So I got the burger and the steak. So there's a reason I picked this route. There was like two routes hitting towards Seattle and one of them had a layover in Dubai that only lasted about, I think like 40 minutes. This one is the longer one. It's about a two hour, two and a half hour layover. I wish it was still longer, but food on a flight was okay. But this is the treasure trove. They also have this little central food station with desserts, ooh, good looking desserts. Oh, homeless beef, fresh croissants. Oh my God, that looks great. And they're cooking everything fresh back there. International section. Fresh croissants, oh, piping hot too. Oh. Amazing, wow. If I could just fly around the world, occasionally stop and get at places like this, I'd be pretty happy. Oh, what is this? Hmm. I need like 20 more of these. It's not just chocolate, it's chocolate and jam and just like flaky pastry. Burger and steak's not even here yet. All right, I can't control myself. This pastry reminds me of my future girlfriend. Really warm and sweet. And flaky, apparently. Oh, this cracker is crazy. It's got fruit and nuts cooked inside this cracker. This cheese is so good. I'm actually really happy now that there wasn't all that much food on the plane. That would have ruined me for this. And I would have been really sad. This is a beautiful looking burger. Look at that nice bun. I appreciate burgers with great buns. And it's a hefty baby. Look at that. It's massive. That's at least a half pounder. And look at all that juice oozing out of the patty. Looks like a burger monster. Looks like it wants to eat me. Oh yeah. Look at that. Perfectly cooked. Juice, oh, juice oozing out from every corner. All right, it's a little complicated my, my steak arrived as soon as my burger got here so I don't want either one of them to fade away into Dryville so my solution is eat the burger very quickly and go for the steak mm. this is a thing of beauty mm. good wagyu will just melt and this thing does just that oh my god you literally could eat this beef patty with a straw. This is real Wagyu beef. I recognize that tenderness from anywhere. An amazing beef flavor. I'm really surprised um, this burger is actually allowed to be served at this airport because this thing is bomb. There's more than makes up for that meatless breakfast I just had. Oh, come here, baby. Hopefully you weren't waiting long. Juicy steak. Look at that. Mmm. Oh. This tenderloin lives up to his name. And that extreme beef flavor is just borderline intoxicating. Dip a little bit in that pepper sauce. Now it comes with a bit of creamy flavor. That's so juicy, beefy, and creamy. All at the same time. All right, 
Sadly, I have to go catch a flight. Bye, magical menu genie. If you have this and you're sitting where I'm sitting right now, any food wish you want will come true. It's crazy. It's got an arcade room for kids. You can polish your shoes for free. There's a quiet room where you can sleep. It might be better than a Turkish airline lounge. The Turkish airline lounge didn't have a restaurant with a full menu. I love this place. Last leg. 14 more hours. Let's do this. Interesting. Pillow mist. Still can't get over how big this TV screen is. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My pre flight dry date. I am pretty familiar with really dry dates. I'm sorry, that's my last joke. So I know you got this sweet it's really good. I never get sick of doing that. Let's see what's on the menu. So there's breakfast, dinner, and anytime snacks. And this flight is, uh, ooh, Thanksgiving with the Emirates. Maybe I'll be able to have a turkey after all. So anyway, as I was saying, it's dining on demand, which means you can eat whenever you want. Okay, breakfast, omelet, eggs, paneer, Cereal, appetizers, caviar, beef consomme, smoked duck, salmon, main course, beef wellington. Sounds promising. Cajun chicken, roast turkey. I think we're gonna have that from Turkey. It is Thanksgiving and just wouldn't be Thanksgiving without eating some turkey. First course, caviar. I don't even like caviar that much, but I just feel like when you're flying first class, if they offer you caviar, you should eat some caviar. sit here and tell you that this is like some supreme quality caviar I don't know it tastes pretty good to me it's nice light and briny it's not overly fishy or too funky it's got a nice light oceany flavor to it this is it my Thanksgiving on a plate where's my stuffing my roast turkey cranberry sauce wow even the cheesy green beans, potatoes, looks halfway decent. Now, I think where turkey is, most of the time, it's not going to be good. I actually think I make one of the best spicy turkeys in the world. I think I do. Hmm. I get credit where credit is due. That's a, that's a delicious bird. It's pretty juicy for airplane turkey. Good morning. Wow. Three hours till we land. Let's see what else they're to eat. Steak sandwich, clam chowder. Mm -hmm. I love how every meal begins with a basket of bread. And they're so amazingly toasty. I don't know why it is, but wherever I am, either at a fancy restaurant or on an airplane, I'm always super into the bread basket.
This is awesome clam chowder. Mm. It tastes more like a bacon potato chowder than a clam chowder, but I don't even know me. It's freezing here in Seattle. Not raining, of course. Never rains when I'm here. It is cold. It is Black Friday. Obviously, I buy a lot of stuff on Amazon and uh -huh. pizza. And when you're gone for so long, like, you kind of forget what you bought. So when I got home, it's almost like a little personal Christmas order for me. New microphone from my camera. A little stand, finally, for my... Stand finally for my Uzbekistan plate. Let's talk about the flight. I think the flight schedule went perfectly. Usually you don't get to fly a Middle Eastern airline um, when you're flying out of Asia. So it's kind of a roundabout way to get home. And this trip, of course, I flew Emirates Suites. It allowed me to fly on two different types of aircraft and it allowed me to stay in Dubai long enough to try out the first class lounge, which were things I really wanted to experience to give you guys a full detailed review. So the biggest difference between the Airbus and the Boeing is that the shower, which is such a difference maker. So if you have a choice, I would 100% choose the Airbus over the Boeing. I mean, being able to take a shower at the end of your flight, especially when you're about to connect for 14 more hours in the air is just a huge difference maker. Like I felt really refreshed. Food, I feel like the first two leg of the trip, the food was pretty mediocre. I mean, it was it was good, but ordinary. But the last leg with the turkey dinners, and the steak sandwiches, they definitely kicked it up a notch. So the food on a long haul trip is very, very good. On a medium to short length trip, it's just okay. The service was amazing, very courteous people, super friendly. But if I had to compare it to the Asian carriers like your ANAs or uh, your Singapore Airlines, or your JAL, even the Korean carriers, just a tad, tad not as good. But overall, fantastic. The lounge was a thing of beauty, especially uh, if you're layover in Dubai, that's their headquarters. So obviously that lounge had to be the best and it was just remarkable. So much food, so many things to do. I'd be fine if I had to lay over there for about 12 hours. If you give me that lounge, I'd be pretty happy. But overall, this has been the best airplane seat I have ever sat in. With a, with a drink elevator at your disposal in, in a lounge where you can get soda or, or water or drinks or nuts or snacks that's always there. There's tons of snacks. I mean, just so many different kinds. Like when you arrive on your seat, there's a snack basket. When you go to the lounge, there's like fresh cherries and nuts and there's other snacks on the menu. It's tons of different varieties of things to put in your mouth and to drink. The seat's incredibly comfortable. The bed, the privacy of the suites. It's just in totally otherworldly experience. Anyway guys, that's my review of the Emirates First Class Suites. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I need to go to bed again because even though I've been sleeping the entire flight, um, it's about 3 a.m. in Cambodia right now for me. I need to just crash. Even though I came home and I was like, I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna go work out. I was all ambitious. I feel myself crashing. So again, thank you so much for watching. Happy belated Thanksgiving. Hopefully you guys gobble gobbled up a lot of turkey with your family, friends, had a great time. And to those of you who don't celebrate Thanksgiving, happy holidays. All right, I gotta, I gotta go to bed. See you later.